everybody. Welcome back to Pagan's Reading Nook. My name is Pagan, and today I'm joined by another Romance Riot author because, of course, you guys have heard a lot of Romance Riot authors, but they are all awesome authors. And today I am joined by P.S. Nail, and P.S. Nail also goes by Peggy. So, Peggy, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. I am so glad that you are here. And I have to say, I'm kind of obsessed with all your books um, because they're all dark and twisty like me. <laughs> so they are awesome. And I think probably like by far my favorite thing about you so far is what I read on your uh, bio, which was that you may or may not be a vampire, <laughs> which was so awesome. <laughs> It was so yeah. great. It's like currently lives in the United States or possibly Romania. <laughs> it was so great. I was like, that is the most original bio I think I have ever read on Amazon. It was so great. <laughs> oh, thank you. One of my, uh, actually, one of my team members was, I was talking about changing it and she was like, you should, you know, incorporate vampire stuff. And so she wrote some of it and then I just went in and changed it to fit, you know, completely my personality. And I was like, this is amazing. Her name's Anna and I love her to death. And I was like, this is amazing. Like, this is perfect. So I went and changed them all and then changed them in my books. <laughs> it's definitely, like I said, one of the most original ones that I've read in probably forever and just top tier, superb, awesome. <laughs> so. oh, thank you. Uh, you have quite a few books out, which is really kind of awesome, and they are all dark and twisty, which is awesome. You have vampire books and the Deadly Sins books, which I'm not sure of, and then you have the Primordial Gods, which I, we're going to talk about all of them. But yeah. first things first, out of all the books you've written, do you have a favorite? Oh, that's, oh I hate this I know. question. <laughs> I have to get the heavy header out of the way first. <laughs> so I think, I think story-wise, uh, Raised by Venom, that series, the Argentium Vampire Hunter series, it was, was the one I wanted to do so for so many years. It was just in my head. So that one is probably my favorite, but Violet Flames is from the Primordial God series is so close to my heart because it's my first ever novel. And I wrote it in like, you know, three to four weeks. I wrote it so fast, hundred and you know, five thousand words, like That's like it was insane. nothing. Insane! Holy crap! <laughs> Did you sleep? <laughs> I mean, and I work a full time job, so the, I don't even know how. I mean, I know Damn. I didn't do nothing around the house. <laughs> I quit doing laundry dishes. Like my husband was doing everything. He's like, "Are you almost done with that book?" And I was like, "No!" <laughs> like, holy crap! That's <laughs> awesome, though. Yeah, so that one's always going to be near and dear to my heart because Ember was my first, you know, character to write ever. So her and her friends were just always, they're always being in my heart. But if I had to choose, I would have to be, oh, I guess I would have to be Venom. But yeah, also Violet Flames. <laughs> I think that's awesome. I think probably out of all the covers, the Raised by Venom one is just so awesome. Uh, I remember seeing that one with um, headlines and TBRs. And I'm like, I don't know what this book is about, but I need to read it. This is, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bloody Roses, totally awesome. Uh, so Primordial Gods was your first book series. Are there more coming in that series or is it just the two? Um, There are definitely more. Uh, I built an entire world that is a different realm than ours. Um, There are 10 gods. Uh, oh, nice nine of them made different species so there's it's not just vampires there's vampires fey demons angels uh fire caster water caster air caster <laughs> and elven that's the nine different species and then the 10th god uh never had children so his he created all plants and animals all so right. uh yeah and there's an i built an entire giant world of just paranormal creatures basically um fantasy realm and there's i made the map i made everything in that book the heading like i've just <laughs> I'm a little extra. Uh, I did my tattoo artist, not my tattoo artist. I'm sorry. My artist made all the tattoos inside. So that was fun. That is but, cool. Yeah. <laughs> but to answer your question, because I just rambled on. <laughs> yes, there are more books coming. They're intertwining standalone. So book one is from one character. Book two is from a point of view of the same character plus her sister. But then book three will be from a completely different characters. And it just keeps going like that. So it's going to there's King's Guard members and it's going to hit pretty much all the King's Guards and how they fall in love and work their way fighting against the demons and stuff. That is awesome. And I, I'm so excited. I, 
it is on my TBR, but my TBR is like 10,000 miles long at this rate because thanks, TikTok, <laughs> it's all your fault. Um, but <laughs> they are on my, my TBR and I cannot wait to dig into them. Uh, I have tentatively put them on my TBR for like November because that's like the earliest availability <laughs> I've got. So <laughs> we'll have to definitely see how those play out. And of course, when I read them, I'm going to tell you about all the things I love because you hit on everything that I'm currently obsessed with not currently always obsessed with i was gonna say it's not a current thing it's always <laughs> been um that that was lord of the rings's fault so and buffy's and that's, uh, yeah, yeah I've, I've been obsessed with vampires and basically all paranormal creatures ever since then so yeah you can't escape it um now kind of moving on to your next uh books uh the deadly sins books You've got uh, Sinful Discipline and Sinful Demands, and <laughs> I'm assuming since it says book one, there's going to be more of those as well. Yes, uh, Sinful Discipline um, was the prequel. It was a short story. It's only 6,000 words. It was in an anthology for Sinful Signings. It's actually going to be in October. Um, <clears throat> so I actually just threw it on Amazon because it's only being printed, so I'm allowed to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, anthology so I threw it on Amazon and people wanted the other seven deadly you know wanted all the seven deadly sins and I'm like okay I can do this so I just wrote sinful demands and released it and all the other sins are coming eventually so um I also built my kind of own realms there too <laughs> that's awesome I don't know if I've ever read a book with like the seven deadly sins like that were kind of the main focus so that's really cool um, yeah I'm excited about that where did that the idea for that kind of come to where did the idea of that kind of come about? Sorry, all my words tried to escape my mouth at the same time. <laughs> well, Sinful Signings is um, the anthology that we're doing. So it's kind of based on sinful stuff. And, you know, a lot of people were doing Seven Deadly Sins and retellings and things like that. And I was like, I can just throw one out there real quick. So I did. And my readers absolutely, like, engulfed it. So I had to keep going for them <laughs> because they're always like, I need more, I need more. I, I can never write fast enough. I'd have to write a book a day to be able to keep up with them. Maybe oh even goodness. more. <laughs> yeah, I've had people finish a book and be like, when's the next one? And I'm like, uh, you, I just published yesterday. Like, <laughs> it's like, come on now. I just put this one out. Let it have some time in the, the world before you ask for the next one. Let it breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love them though. Cause they keep me going. It, you know, I want to stop all the time because I have severe imposter syndrome, you know, so I never feel good enough. And so anytime that they're like that, I'm like, oh, got to keep writing, got to keep because I keep writing for them, you know, for my current readers and hopefully future readers, you know, mm -hmm. I feel that. And having the imposter sy syndrome as a writer is definitely one of the hardest challenges of, I would say, being a writer next to editing. That's the other one. That's the worst <laughs> one. Um I, we all hate editing and that's why we hire editors because for some reason I guess they're sadists that enjoy that craft and good for them I'm not <laughs> but <laughs> you know how it goes uh, but no I think that it's really cool that you have readers that are willing to kind of help push you and keep you going and keep you doing those things and all of your books are so amazing and they're you know kind of the cover designs the storytelling all these different things and so i'm excited to see where you continue all your stories and see where they end up um uh -huh. now moving from seven deadly sins to vampires how did the argentium <laughs> vampire story kind of come about um i like most of us paranormal readers was obsessed, you know, with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I love the True Blood, Blood series. I love the book series before I even watched oh, the, the show. Book, the book series was so much better than the show. Like, the show was good up until, like, season five. But we could have a whole conversation about True Blood and just bore everybody to tears with that. So uh, we'll just right. we'll skip over that one. But the books yeah. are always better. <laughs> yeah. And I've, I've been obsessed with J.R. Ward, Black Dagger Brotherhood series. Oh, so and, good. You know, I'm just a huge vampire lover since um, since I can remember. I mean, The Lost Boys in the 80s. I was probably like seven when I watched it. I was obsessed. You know? like, I probably should have been watching it. But I've always wanted that dynamics, the vampire hunter versus the vampire. I love enemies to lovers. So like that dynamics is just huge to me. It's one of my favorite to write. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. it when they hate each other and then they don't. <laughs> like, it's my favorite ever. So I just always wanted, I knew I wanted that vampire hunter versus that vampire. And that's kind of how Luca and Sage was born. 
I love that. And I love a good enemies to lovers too, if it's done well. Sometimes it's not done very well and it's like, but y'all still hate each other. I understand that you guys are like in bed with each other, but y'all still hate each other. I need you to love each other now. That's what I need. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't play out that way, but I, I've i heard good things about Raised by Venom and I know that there are many people out there that are like, yes, top tier, exactly what you want with enemies to lovers. So that's going to be uh, definitely a good read if you're an enemies to lovers kind of lover. And I love that uh, you were obsessed with Lost Boys at the age of seven. I think I watched Lost Boys when I was like nine. So we're in the same boat. <laughs> yeah. um, now, kind of moving on from uh, J.R. Ward that you were talking about. Have you read Christine Feehan? Um, yeah, back in the day, I don't, I've read so many books and my memory is just, I'm old first thing, you know, and my ADHD takes over. So I don't remember a lot of Christine Fian, but I remember reading a sum back in the day at some point. Her Carpathian Vampire series is probably one of my favorites. And I would have to say probably the best one that I've read out of that whole series, which there's, I don't know, like 27 of the books. There's so many. <laughs> um because i swear to god she also doesn't sleep she just writes and writes and writes and it's like oh you have five new <laughs> books didn't you just put out like five books like a month ago now you have five new okay <laughs> whatever she might be a vampire like in real life because <laughs> i don't think she sleeps or eats um but yeah so her my favorite one out of that series was dark melody and just so good oh Yes, such a great book. If it, you guys are vampire lovers and have not read Christine Feehan, they're older books, but they are good. They are very good. So, yeah. <laughs> J.R. Ward is also another one that I'm obsessed with as well. I love the uh, Dark Brother, or is it the Dark, Dark Brother? Black Dagger Brother. Thank you. That one. <laughs> um, yes, I, I, I haven't read them. I haven't read anything by J.R. Ward in a while. Um, because I've been obsessed with all the book talk books and all of the romance riot books. And uh, Tanlands and TBRs have been keeping me busy uh, because, <laughs> you know, there was only 39 books in that one. And then immediately following that one was the uh, Stuff Your Kindle Day. And I swear I ended up with like 150 books. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even know why I did that to myself. It's like, you're not going to have time to read all these. Not realistically, but, yeah. you know. I still did it anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was a big week. And when I, I scheduled the tan lines and TBRs, I did not even know because I don't keep up with the stuff your Kindle day because I, like I said, my ADHD, I would download every book and there's like a thousand or something, I think. I love how I... the stuff your Kindle day crashed Amazon. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was really funny to watch all of book talk going, um, Amazon's broken. What happened? Yeah, right. It's like stuff your Kindle day happened and we broke Amazon. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great when that happens though. So. Uh so what is what can we expect next from you? What what's the next one on the horizon? The next book that is being published is Scorned by Venom. That is book two in the Argentium series. Nice. And my my Venom fans are like, they're going to murder me if I don't get this out soon. <laughs> <laughs> they are chomping at the bit for the book and they need it right now. <laughs> yeah. One kind of ended on a cliffhanger. Uh, oh, gonna... yeah. That's why they're going to murder you because they need to know what happened. <laughs> yeah. The cat's out of the bag. I didn't. I didn't mention it on on book talk for the longest time, but people started saying it, and other people started catching on. I finally just let it go, and I'm like, "It's a cliffhanger, guys. Sorry." Like, oops, not really. <laughs> like, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I do what my characters tell me to do. I don't make this stuff up. I'm a pantser, so I write just whatever comes to my head. So I feel that I'm a pantser too. And um, so when my characters decide to change the story off of the outline, they originally gave me. And then it's mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, this is not in the thing. It's like, just go with it. It'll be fine. Then it turns out so much better. And I'm like, well, thanks. This was like a three book series. Now it's a seven book series. How, why did you change this? And of course, you know, they don't tell you, they're just like, write the book. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> they always do something and I'm like how am I supposed to come back from this and then they give me you know ways to come back but I freak out for like a second I'm like wait wait what like I can't come back from 
<laughs> I love it. I love it. And it's so fun talking to other fiction authors and you, you hear those stories and it's like, cool. It's not just me that that happens to. Yes, I'm oh, not yeah. alone. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I think it happens to all like fiction writers and I don't know. It doesn't happen to nonfiction because obviously they're, you know, they're talking about like a nonfiction subject, but yeah, it's always cool when those kinds of things happen. So I enjoy it. And I think it's fun to hear the stories of other authors and their um, character uh, shenanigans. Trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I feel um, less lonely. <laughs> so what book are you currently reading that you would recommend to everybody? Um, I'm actually listening um to a book that right still now. Counts. It's oh yeah, absolutely. Um I just I tried I was reading actually some of it last night um because I was listening to some of it yesterday and then when I lay down when I'm doing stuff around the house I like to listen and then when I'm laying down I like to uh, use my eyeballs. So, but I'm mm -hmm. reading actually My Fake Forever by Isla Drake. Okay. I got that off the Tam Lane TBRs. It's very nice. Not being but and I do read non-vampire stuff now. I used to only read paranormal, but after finding Book Talk and finding so many amazing authors that I've you know had friendships with and became close to, I branched out and started reading stuff that wasn't non you know that was non-paranormal, and it actually helps when I'm writing, so I don't feel like I'm getting too much paranormal information, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't end up overstimulated because of the fact that there's too much paranormal happening between your what you're reading and what you're uh, writing and all that good stuff. So I feel that. I feel that. I like it. Exactly. <laughs> and always a good choice as well. So um, my next question for you is, do you have a favorite character out of all your books? Oh, that is so hard too. It's oh, I know. It's also hard. I think mm, it, I would be torn um it would probably have to be sage from raised by venom okay um because she just lets loose and and i like her being so open and you know carefree and like runs her mouth <laughs> <laughs> those are always fun characters <laughs> yeah i i currently am writing the crap out of her you know right now so i think that's part of it too but she's my favorite at currently <laughs> that's awesome that is so awesome i love that so uh, do you have any events or book signings coming up that people can go and find you at and meet you, get signed books and all that good stuff? I have actually two book signings next month. Um, I don't have anything this month, but in September, I am extremely busy. I do this every year. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, I have my first one is very local okay. and it is um, it's in Edwardsville, Illinois, and it's just the, a local book fair. I can't even remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's on my website. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm assuming people can find it on your website. Yeah, it's on my website, prim primordialtree.com. Um, the link is in my bio and everything. Facebook, TikTok, wherever, Instagram. Nice. And links will be in the show description just for everybody <laughs> listening. Perfect. Thank you. Um, and then the second one is the huge one, and that's in Roanoke, Virginia. And that is Sinful Signings. Um, and that one is the weekend of September. It's two day event. It's September 16th and September 17th. And that's a huge book talk event. So I'm ex super excited to meet so many fellow authors and narrators and friends and readers that are going to be there. So that's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing all of the uh, uh, TikTok videos from that. So that'll be cool. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> and uh, obviously you're on TikTok. Um, I know you're on Instagram because we follow each other on Instagram. Uh, so where else can people find you on social media? How they, how, how can they connect with you? Goodness gracious, my words today. Uh, how can they connect with you and all that good stuff? I am author PS Nail on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Super simple. Just author PS Nail. <laughs> Perfect. Well, there you go. That's how you guys can connect with, uh, Peggy on all social media stuff. Make sure you check out those signings. If you are local to Peggy, go and get a signed copy at the local book signing, which all that info will be listed on Peggy's website. And if you're going to the big book talk signing, make sure you go and say hi to Peggy, get a signed copy as well. And, you know, just say hi. And don't forget to review your author's books because they need the reviews and they love them. Also, if you are unavailable or unable to get a copy of Piggy's books through 
traditional purchasing, uh, make sure you request a copy at your local library. So if they don't have one, they will order one or get it from some other library. So support your libraries, everybody. This yes. was so much fun, Peggy. I had, a, I had such a great time chatting with you. You too. It was great. So everybody who's listening, make sure you stay safe. Go give Peggy a follow, buy her books, and we will talk very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.